So we just discussed uh, some important topics. I would like to know your impression about them. Well, you know, the Sport Forum is a great place to come to, ha to have debate, and there's a lot of debate right now about um, the future of the sport as it relates to a number of big changes that have been made. The first change that was voted on at the General Assembly in Tokyo was to create a fairer system for riders to be able to apply, and they call that the, you know, the online application system. And <clears throat> that system goes into effect January 1st, 2018, but it's already in effect from a rule standpoint. The, the technology has to catch up. But in doing so, we found some unintended consequences, in, in, in my opinion. Um, it's changed the system that organizers do their invitations to. So in that invitation system now, I think what you're finding is that a, a lot of organizers aren't generating enough income at the lower level shows like two-star shows um, the way they used to um, because so much of it is now going to be done off the ranking system. So well, what does that mean? It, um, what, what it means is they're trying to find other ways to, to come up with in order to make up that lost income. And the solution that was being heatedly discussed was raising entry fees in Europe or they called it harmonization or standardization of entry fees. I personally think that would be a huge mistake because the system itself right now is very harmonized. Europe is the place where young riders um, or, pro or professionals that don't have huge incomes bring along young horses. All the breeding takes place for the most part in Europe. And those horses are brought along. And then where entry fees are higher in the United States, those horses are sold and sold for big profits. and um, and. and that's where the profits are made in the United States. So it's sort of a beautiful balance, right? You have this ecosystem where um, the horses are brought along, it's affordable, then they're sold to the United States where they can afford it because they, they charge more money. So I think this discussion of standardization and harmonization could really have terrible unintended consequences for the system. And I think we just have to go back to the starting point of grasping and keeping intact this new online um, entry system, which is great, but make sure that the organizers of two stars aren't hurt. So that's where I think the work needs to be done. So if you could give a suggestion to, to them, what would it be? I think they need to change the percentages. I think that for two star events that they need to broaden the percentage that organizers are allowed to, to, to make their own choice on. So, you know, they're using the same 60, 50 or 40 percent must come from the ranking list at the five star level, the four star level, the three star level and the two star level. I think as you go down the levels, there needs to be more discretion to the organizer and then it'll preserve most of the old system without um, changing the balance of the ecosystem. And do you think, uh, is there still a possibility to change something or do you think that it's everything fixed? I think that Ingmar at the very end of this last session said that we've all bought in and we all voted for the new system, but the details of it, like the percentages, were open for discussion. So I was encouraged by that.